Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about leaders. Let me explain how to create, manage and control uh, how to make styles for your leaders in, with the Measure It Arc add-on. Before anything, what is a leader? In case you are not aware or never uh, created uh, anything related to architectural documentation, a leader is a text, a piece of text connected to a certain part of your drawing by an arrow or a line. And you might use that to extend some explanations or the documentation of a design. Uh, it, uh, for, uh, for instance, you can add or describe the purpose of a certain area of a drawing or add a dimension for uh, something that is way too small to receive a proper dimension line. There are different, very uh, uh, lots of different use cases for leaders in architectural documentation. Uh, what is the first step? Uh, what is the first step that we have to uh, follow here to add uh, a leader? Is to create a style. But before that, I already explained in past tutorials how to download, install, uh, create dimension lines and styles uh, with the Measure It Arc. I will leave a link uh, as a card here on the video in case you want to uh, go back and watch those uh, tutorials. And if you don't want to miss anything in the future, subscribe to the channel. Now. To create a style, you have to open the scene tab on your properties editor and you see here the styles. We can create a new style. It will be an annotation. Hit OK. Let's call this annotation leaders. You can change the color to red to match the same color that we are using for the dimension lines. And since I changed the name here, let's update the name here for annotation leaders. Now, uh, you have to follow a simple rule here to add leaders or annotations uh, with the Measure It Arc add-on. You need to select one vertex. For instance, I will select this vertex here, press the annotation button and a new leader will appear. And um, in this version of the Measure It Arc, whenever I try to add an annotation, it will, it will include two lines of text. I have to remove one of them. Let me open here the Object tab. And I can take a look here on the annotation 2 text fields. And you can see here that we have a blank line. I will remove this. Let's add, for instance, the thickness for the wall. I can add 15 centimeters or you can keep up with the same units 0 0.15 meters press enter and since we are using a style you can come here under your scene tab locate your style and we can make some adjustments here Let's change the size to 20. The end cap, we can add a triangle, so it will be an arrow. You can change the line weight to 1.5 to match the dimension lines. And you can create a leader offset. When we update this value here, it will add a straight line. And there we have it. If you want, for instance, uh, to add a second annotation uh, right here, the only thing that we have to follow is to create a, a vertex. You need a vertex to create another annotation. If you want to add it right here, you can create, for instance, a copy of any vertex. And I can try to use here uh, something like an edge. Press Shift D. And you can try to place as close as possible to the edge. Press the annotation button and it will include a new annotation. If you want to remove this one is way too close to this dimension line. Let me remove this one. Select the annotation, remove it and we can press G, Y. Let me place it here. 
hit the annotation again and as always uh, as i was explaining it created a new line let me remove this second line and i want to just point that this wall here will be a brick wall and the alignment here is not quite right you can see that the text is on the upper side let's open the styles and the position here is at the top let's change this to mid and it will be on the middle of the line if you want to add some more annotations let's say i want to create a new leader right here i can press shift d and make a copy of this vertex add another annotation and keep up with that and unfortunately uh, you have to create a vertex that's uh, how annotations work here with uh, the majorit arc and they will appear like this you will see my uh, vertex uh, with this uh, bigger size because i made some changes to my team that's the reason uh, they appear way too big here uh, with this uh, bigger size on my uh, edit mode and this is it this is how you can create and add leaders to your projects here with the measure it arc first step is to create a style add it to the annotations and select a vertex and create your uh, leaders you can edit the formatting of your leaders here on the styles and manage your annotations here uh, as a separate control uh, from your dimensions you will see here that you have the styles you can break uh, the relation to any of those leaders to the style it will reset their formatting or you can choose another style from the list i, I hope you like this tutorial in case you find it useful uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any future uh, tutorials about the measure it arc or anything related to architectural design and visualization with uh, blender and open source and don't forget to check my latest uh, learning resources i have a new workshop links in the description see you next time bye